I do want to invite and ask everyone to please support my very small business and ministry here by liking, sharing, subscribing here to the channel. For the month of July, we have joined together with the Stop Hate for Profit campaign against Facebook and Instagram alongside the NAACP and the Anti-Defamation League. And while we have big brands like Unilever and Coca-Cola and Adidas um, in here with us, you know, for small fish like me, it's very damaging because that is our main source of advertising. So please do support us in this fight against hate and voter suppression by subscribing, sharing, liking this video. We appreciate you. Sagittarius's, what is going on with you for this week? Monday the 13th, Tuesday the 14th, Wednesday the 15th. We have a general theme going on for these three days. There is talk of maybe this being you, but possibly this also being your spouse or a roommate or a parent, someone that you deal with on that level. Um, so there's talk of money. There's talk of an obsession with money and a general theme here of looking at the finances and what's been accomplished as not being enough. So we're going to break this down. Monday the 13th, the outlook on life is either your outlook on life or again, if we're talking about your spouse, this other person you're dealing with, the outlook on life is either too broad or it is stuck. It is rigid. It is not within the flow of the, the circumstances and the reality on where it needs to be. Tuesday the 14th, Wednesday the 15th, this person or your own obsession over money is causing you to be blocked so that you are uh, not able to hear from spirit. You're blocked from the right side of your brain and you aren't listening to reason, which is blocking you from the universe being able to give you any additional blessings or prosperity. So this reminds me of a lot of situations I see my clients in where they're saying, why have I not achieved this yet? Why am I not where I want to be? You know, where is the breakthrough? Why is it not coming? It is possible that you've been so rigid, you've literally cut yourself off from that and it needs to be within order using law of attraction manifestation and being connected to the right side of your brain and your intuition there is talk here of do you hear me spirit kept saying to you do you hear me and the funny thing about spirit is spirit doesn't come in like gangbusters spirit doesn't come in and, and yell and shout at you okay your guides might a little bit from time to time but typically it is the still small voice. We have a video up here on YouTube called exactly that. Learn what it is. Learn how to tap in. Thursday the 16th, Friday the 17th. There's talk of you looking backward and doing an evaluation on where you've been, where you've been putting your resources, where you've been putting your time and attention, including with love, but also with work. And trying to figure out whether or not that is actually working for you or you're just sort of treading water. Friday the 17th and Saturday the 18th, we have general theme on both of those days, having to do with reconfiguring your life, your game plan, your relationship, your work, whatever it is that you decide to do with this. You're reconfiguring with a positive attitude. Spirit wanted to stress that. The more the positive attitude you have, the more your blessings will come in. And spirit does reward a positive attitude with the immediate good karma. So be mindful of that. Sunday the 19th, there's talk of a love affair. There's talk of an increase in either a romantic partnership moving up to the next level or you meeting someone where there's an awful lot of compatibility and we're going to see what this is all about here in the future. You could also be seeing an increase in your relationship or breakthrough with like your children or your parents or a friend. There's talk of health, your health, watching out, and the health of those in your inner circle. And there is talk of money going out. But the way they wrote it was money giving out. Should you be 
investing your money where you are? Should you be giving money to someone who's asking for a loan? They wrote two question marks here. My feeling is that you should reassess that. On Monday the 20th, the sun comes out. Now the sun coming out in my readings is going to mean that there was some type of a storm going on and now you are coming out of that phase. They also drew a peace symbol and a smiley face emoji here, which is cute. So I feel that some of the changes that you're making throughout the week, if you're doing this right, and taking the time is going to uh, really bring you a lot of happiness, inner joy, and peace. A sense of um, making making yourself move forward with a positive attitude about the change, uh, even though you would have initially had a lot of resistance to it. Because change is good, especially in a situation like this where things can start flowing again. Sagittarius, have a great week.